Hey guys, welcome back to um, my channel. Um, it's really exciting to have a channel of my own. Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is Biz and I've lost 22 pounds. Um, no, I haven't. <laughs> I've lost 30 pounds in 2022. Wow, got those numbers mixed up. Um, and by doing so, I'm eating really good foods uh, and recipes <laughs> that don't taste like ass. This is one of them. So this is my broccolini and shrimp lo mein. This is gonna come together in like less than 10 minutes as long as it takes the water to boil. Uh, if you guys have not heard of broccolini, it is a cross between broccoli and Chinese broccoli. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit milder, a little bit sweeter, um, and I'm gonna blanch this. It's gonna come back into the dish super quickly. Is um, there a difference between broccoli rabe and broccolini? There is, so okay. I don't know what the difference is actually, okay. but broccoli rabe, um, looks very similar to this but it has um it's a little on the bitter side i actually do have a recipe on my blog i'll leave it in the description box below uh a pork and broccoli wrap sandwich that is stunning that's kind of like i think that's um philadelphia is known for that sandwich so i'll leave that description down below so basically what we're going to be doing is we've already made our sauce um i didn't need you to i didn't need you to watch me <laughs> <laughs> The link's below for the recipe. But it's if you're an ingredient um, whore like I am, especially with condiments, you probably have everything in there. There's a few things that you may not have that you should have in your pantry. One of them is sambal olique. Um, there we go. And um, this is probably my go-to. I will probably finish this in like a month or two. Like it's, it's so good. It just wakes up if you like the thing spicy, but not too spicy, it's flavorful spicy. It's amazing to have. Love having a PB um, fit or PB um, powder peanut butter, whatever the brand is. Um, it's like 87% less fat than peanuts. Will I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this? No, because that's gonna taste like shit. But when I add it to a peanut sauce, you're gonna get that peanut flavor and not have all the extra calories. And if you don't also have rice wine vinegar in your pantry, you should. Uh, a little bit sweeter, but still has that vinegar kick that I love, and those are the ingredients. And um, our sauce. So, Hannah, do we live anywhere near where we can get um, fresh shrimp? No. So if you don't live anywhere near that you can get fresh shrimp, always buy frozen. So I have just gotten peeled and deveined. They've already been deveined on the top. Um, and I think I got a package of 16 to 20 count at my grocery store for like $8. You cannot beat the price. Um, and it just saves you so much more money if you're buying it. And if, well, and if they have it thawed in the seafood section, it's already been frozen. Yep, and they've just thawed it for your convenience, and that's why they charge you more money. So we don't want to do that. So we're just going to take our shrimp, peel it really quick. So I've got water boiling in the kitchen. We are not in our kitchen, by the way, because there's nowhere to film over there. Um, but we are, have water boiling. We're going to drop our broccoli broccolini for one minute to blanch it. Put it in cold water then we're going to cook our lo mein noodles and then we'll come back here and put it all together so while my pan is getting hot um let's talk about lo mein noodles for a little bit because um, a lot of people want to do like the shirataki noodles and stuff like that. That's fabulous if you like that, how that tastes. But what I did differently this year than what I did differently from any other year is I just decided that I was going to try to eat, find the lowest point everything. Why? I don't even know because most of the stuff tastes like ass to me anyway. So why am I suffering? So most cooked pasta is just six points a cup. Spend the points make the regular lo mein, you'll be satisfied, you'll eat better, and you won't find yourself looking for something to do. So now that our pan is up to temperature, I'm gonna just salt and pepper my shrimp. I've already cooked the lo mein noodles. Um, these only take four minutes to cook. This blanched for one minute, so you can see how quickly this comes together. And then I'm just gonna add the shrimp to my pan and try not to burn myself. <laughs> Cause that's how the professionals do it, you mm -hmm, know, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll see how quickly this comes together. I've got my trusty tongs right here. I'm just gonna season on the other side. And this won't take very long at all. Um, you just wanna cook shrimp till it's like opaque uh, and not like, it doesn't need to be super hard. Yeah. I used to overcook shrimp all the time and 
you don't really need to. No, it gets rubbery. Yeah. So once <coughs> I just pepper pepper sprayed myself. <laughs> once it cooks on one side, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna add the noodles and the broccoli, and then add the sauce, and it's gonna come together. We're good to go. And look, no time at all. And it's funny because when I first started recipe developing, I love spending all my time in the kitchen, and I realized quickly that not everyone likes to do that. So um, that's why I'm showing you that um, eating healthy and um, doesn't have to take much time at all. You can actually do the lo mein noodles uh, separate. You can cook those two or three days ahead of time. Just spray them a little, little bit of avocado oil spray. As long as you um, run it under cold water, right when it comes out of the um, hot water, they'll be good in your refrigerator three or four days um, after you need it. So that's what we're looking for. Just a little shrimp. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just flipped it over. I'm gonna give this one more minute, add everything else in, cook for another minute, and then it's done. And the best part, of this whole meal is only eight Weight Watcher points. It's not gonna break the bank, it's not gonna, um, and if you don't like shrimp, you can use um, scallops. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you don't like shrimp, you probably don't like scallops. But uh, you can use chicken, tofu, tofu anything, but uh, we're filming this on a Monday, and so this is like a meatless Monday recipe. All right, so that looks good. So now we're gonna add our cooked noodles in. In they go. I'm just gonna pretend there's somebody down there to take care of that. Can you take care of that? Thank you. And our broccolini. And then our sauce. All right, let's get closer. We need some ventilation in here. <laughs> You guys, that is it. Amazing. How delicious is this? Let's plate it up. We'll get rid of this and we'll just take a taste. So just to let you know, this is one serving. And That's it's a eight, really, really good portion. And it's eight points. So it's two ounces dried pasta usually equals one cup cooked pasta. We've got the shrimp. We've got the peanut sauce. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go with the noodles first, I think. I get a little broccoli. Broccolini. Oh, oh my God, you can do it, Hannah. Cheer oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Well, I was gonna not burn my mouth off. Okay. Mm. It's like tangy. Mmm. You get that peanut butter. It's a little spicy from the sambal. Is it too spicy no. for you? Okay. Mm -mm. And you no, can that's see delicious. Um, the shrimp is opaque in the middle. Amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys have to make this. Put this at the top of your list for your meatless Monday. Yep. I think your whole family will love this. Um, and as always, be sure to subscribe. Hit, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the like button. Tell mm -hmm. your friends. All the things. Yeah. Um, being on Weight Watchers doesn't mean deprivation. It doesn't mean eating. Sacrificing all your favorite foods. Yep. You just got to find a way to make it work for you. And this works for me. Exactly. All right. We'll see you guys next right. time. Bye. Bye.